Sleeveless purples, libero jersey in white, Cornhuskers in their red. Navarrete gets us underway in Evanston. Right to Lexi Rodriguez, and a quick swing, but a block from Kennedy Hill. Alec was denied there. Yeah, Kennedy Hill just met Alec right in the middle. Read that perfectly. Northwestern strikes first, and both teams slow to get out of the gates in the first set. And a short serve. Alec gets another try at it, and she makes Northwestern pay. Yeah, Alex's second attempt, good there. But like you said, slow starts have kind of plagued both teams. Nebraska, especially on the road, looking at their Michigan game, their Michigan State game as well. So this will be a big test for them to see how they start in this first set. Here's Harper Murray, first year out of Ann Arbor. Rousseau has to retreat and standing still is Maddie Chin. On the far side, that was Merritt Beeson. Messy play, Navarrete sends it over free. Beeson again, Rousseau digs and recovered by Stinson. Can Navarrete send it? She does. Keep denying Beeson, Navarrete gets it that time. Near overpass. Strong rally early in this one, Hernandez blocked. Alec and Beeson get up there and Nebraska gets their first lead of the match. What a rally to start off set number one. So many sequences for both teams that were out of system, but so many defensive plays that made the difference, especially that one right there, the big block to end it. 2-1 Huskers really own Northwestern throughout their history. Most of that coming from John Cook. And Alec gets another kill. Nebraska 18-1 all-time against Northwestern, 14 consecutive victories. Their last matchup, though, went to five sets and a thrilling one here in Evanston. An ace for Murray. Conflicting signals by our officials, but the point does go to Nebraska. That's four straight. Nebraska is known to serve very aggressively. That's something they focus on, and sometimes that re results in a lot more errors than usual, but just like that, it paid off. Rousseau setting up Maddie Chin. Got the touch. It sounded like it, but ball traveled out. 5-1 Nebraska, who we mentioned slow starts, doesn't look anything but like that so far. Keep targeting Navarrete on Nebraska's serve, and Hill is blocked. Becca Alec off to a fantastic start, and Shane Davis has to call his first time out. Yeah, almost to just cool. Harper Murray back at the service line, looking to keep it rolling. Does anything but that. Puts it right in the net. Northwestern gets their first point since the first one. We mentioned that... Nebraska serves aggressively, and sometimes that results in more errors. You see that one go right into the net, and a very timely timeout for head coach Shane Davis on Northwestern side. Call that one the coach's point there. Let's see what Ellie Stinson, the libero, can do. Goes to Batenhorst, and a block from Maddie Chin. Plenty of Big Ten experience for the outside hitter of Northwestern. This time in the purple and white, gets it done. Nebraska by three, the junior Stinson to serve again. Alec gets her third kill. Navarrete couldn't get it high enough. Yeah, we saw some great defensive play in that first rally by Navarrete, but that one just ricochets off into the crowd. Now here's our first look at the service line from Lexi Rodriguez, the junior out of Sterling, Illinois. Beloved by Husker Nation. And a reception error from Addie Chin. The second ace for Nebraska tonight. I think the loudest that I heard this arena during starting lineups was definitely for Lexi Rodriguez. 
it was a true eruption there. Here's Chin trying to salvage an overpass. They go far side to Hernandez into the block, but it goes out. Point Northwestern. But Bria, we were talking about Lexi Rodriguez. She hasn't gotten it yet, but just one kill away from 1,200 on her career. She's already 10th all time for the Huskers. Yeah, one dig. She's a veteran for this North Nebraska squad, excuse me, an All-American during her freshman year. One of the few vets in the lineup. Nice save from Navarrete. Rousseau sends it over. Batenhorst forces it back. And another incredible effort from Navarrete. Unloading that time is Merritt Beeson. And doesn't give Northwestern another opportunity. Yeah, Merritt Beeson was a huge add to this Nebraska lineup over the offseason. One of the most touted transfers in the country coming from Florida. Was on the 2022 All-SEC team. Here she is now to serve. Going after the first year's Drew Wright this time. Hernandez unloads, Baton Horse recovers, but it's overpassed and Dodson swings. Far side. And that time Andy Jackson gets the kill. Andy Nebraska. Jackson has one of the best slides in the country. She's so effective every time. Take another look at it there. Just the length that she gets in such a short amount of time going to the right side. 10-4 Cornhuskers, a low serve, overpassed, but defended well by Rousseau. Back row attack from Murray, and a dig from Stinson, along Hernandez to unload. Batenhorst with another kill. That's her first. Batenhorst filling the role of Lindsey Krause for the night, who's out with an ankle injury. Batenhorst and Krause battled for that starting spot for the first part of the season, and now Batenhorst gets another chance. Stinson, Rousseau, Dodson slides and gets it on the positive side of the block effort. Northwestern breaks the run. We mentioned it at the start. We would see some Rylan Reed, and here she is early in set one with her team down six. Shane Davis said she's been very impressive during practice throughout this week, not only this week, but all season, and she's earned her spot. Back row attack. Merritt Beeson gets the point for the Cornhuskers. A little delayed reaction there because it hit off of the official. Sinke Robinson, the line judge out there. Nebraska back up by seven. Hernandez receives. Reed's first swing, just long. Rylan Reed, the transfer from Florida Gulf Coast. Got most of her playing time this season during non-conference play. And Northwestern gets the ball back off an error. That's the second service error by the Cornhuskers so far. Just going right into the net once again. Two aces, two errors for Big Red. We get a look at Leilani Dodson from the line. Another transfer in her own right. Coming back home after a season at BYU. And a quick kill from Beeson. Merritt Beeson so effective from the back and front row. You got to be mindful of her wh wherever she is on the court. Looks like the more this first set unfolds, the more comfortable Nebraska looks. They lead by eight. Here's Kennedy Orr. Rousseau dumps and finds the floor. There's a classic Alexa Rousseau going over on to, we talked to head coach Shane Davis this week and he said that he'd like to see her be a little bit more aggressive. And she's starting out early here in set number one, down by a lot, so she's trying to give her team a little boost there. I feel like one of the words he also used to describe her is he wanted to see her be a little more selfish out there. She's always trying to coordinate with particularly San Giacomo when she was here or uh, Leilani Dodson. 
But the dump effort, especially with Rousseau, a six foot three setter, is there. From the back row, it's Hernandez, and she gets a kill. It's the first time Northwestern scored consecutive points in quite a while. Northwestern starting to look a little bit more confident. Still a hill to climb here in set number one. Here is Rousseau. Ranked sixth all time in career assists in program history and picks up an ace. An error from Harper Murray brings Northwestern within five. A quick 3 0 run for the Wildcats. I believe that's their largest of the set so far. Indeed it is. Rousseau looking to make it four. Overpass from Murray. Hale swings, gets that back corner. And the run continues for Northwestern as they reach double digits. Murray targeted back-to-back -back times on the serve. Struggled a little bit on both of those receptions, and that's going to cause head coach John. 10-plus Eli Burke for Elastic here to bring you all the action between Northwestern and the number two ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. Quick swing from Alec gets through Northwestern's defensive lines. And North Nebraska, excuse me, successfully breaks the run. Both head coaches have been successful in their timeouts, getting points right out of them. That one drawn up for Becca Alec. So here we see Bergen Riley, one of, if not the best setter in the Big Ten. Flutter play at the net, and Beeson knows what to do with it. It's her fourth. Following the timeout, Nebraska, of course, two straight, extends their lead back up to six. Huskers currently hitting 389. Reed gets another crack at it. Popped up well by Laney Choboy. Here's Rousseau, back row for Hernandez. Through the block, but Rodriguez is there. Harper Murray now, and Stinson pops it up. Reed goes short. Alec finds open space. Once again, another fantastic rally between both teams, and it ends with Becca Alec for her, her fifth winning percentage that he's had there, taking over for another legend, Terry Pettit, and just continuing the tradition of Nebraska volleyball. Northwestern gains the point off the error, but going back to John Cook, in his career during his time at both Nebraska and Wisconsin, 29-1. and one against the Northwestern Wildcats. He looks to make it 30 tonight. I'll give you a number number there. Another number, Eli. 22 out of 23 seasons have resulted in an NCAA postseason run for John Cook. And a net violation back in there is John Cook, when you look at him, you just got to assume at this point his team's going to be in the mix. And here they are looking more complete than ever. Couple mistakes there give Northwestern the point, but your number two, two, number two rank in the country, still getting first place votes, and you get a date with the number one team this weekend. Yeah, but we we talked to head coach John Cook before this, and he said they're not looking toward Saturday that matchup versus number one Wisconsin. It's business as usual. They have to treat this game as number one priority right now. Navarrete deals an error, gives Nebraska the serve back. And that was something we also talked about with Shane Davis. He said maybe we could catch him sleeping, catch him looking forward to next week. But so far, Nebraska's meant business here in Evanston. Murray, we've seen back-to-back -back errors. Maybe the timeout throws both teams up a little bit. Western on the court right now, Stinson, Navarrete, Rousseau, Chin, Hernandez, and Dodson. Low serve targeting Murray is Northwestern's plan so far. Not enough on the far side. Beeson again. Shane Davis said that the game plan was to try to serve really tough to Nebraska and get them out of system, but the serve receive has been pretty good so far for the Cornhuskers. A couple errors, but they're just running their offense so efficiently so far. Hernandez on one and three. 
Brass have got another crack at it and pushing it through the block is Andy Jackson. The 6'3 freshman out of Brighton, Colorado. Picks up another kill. Andy Jackson leads Nebraska in hitting percentage and is also third in the conference for that as well. A messy reception from Navarrete leads to a quick kill. And Nebraska's starting to see that finish line here in set number one. Yeah, Nebraska coasting right now. We talked about how sometimes they get off to slow starts on the road, but so far they've answered the test. Rodriguez on the back of a 3-0 run. Hernandez looking to end it. Got the touch. Drew Wright coming on to serve. We take another look. The effort from Avery Hernandez, who's really had a breakout last few weeks. Yeah, five of her six last games, she's had 10 plus kills. Turning it to another underclassman, Drew Wright. Nice reception from Rodriguez. Turns into a kill for Beeson. That's her seventh kill in this first set. Just unbelievable performance so far by this Nebraska offense. Seven kills for Beeson. Becca Alec following with five. Nebraska hitting 480 so far. Northwestern on the other hand, 095. Overpass from right. Rodriguez was there. Here's Batenhorst just forcing it down in front of Navarrete. Two points away for Big Red. We've talked about Bergen Riley so much and how she conducts this offense, but how about all of the options she has? You can go to Batenhorst, Beeson, I mean, Harper, Mer Harper Murray, Andy Jackson. There's really no bad option. Reception error from Stinson, a rare one at that. And we have an early set point for the Huskers as their convoy of fans who traveled in droves all rise to their feet. Beeson to service. A low one, Stinson's got it. Hernandez delays Nebraska's gratification. The Husker fans stay standing though. Some of them have even overtaken the Northwestern student section. In my time here, I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Only in the Big Ten, right? Hernandez. Batenhorst, incredibly saved by Northwestern and popped over by Stinson, staying alive. And continues to do so at the block. But that time, it's Jackson on the slide. You mentioned it earlier, Bria, there might not be a better slide in the country. And Nebraska comes away with set one with a 10-point victory. Nebra Nebraska just firing on twice this year already and high praise all around from not only her head coach, but Northwestern's as well. She kicks us off from the service line. A ball that hit the scoreboard on Northwestern's side from Hernandez. Caused a late break and an error from Northwestern. Huskers pick up right where they left off. And just talking a little bit more about Riley, she's really been compared to Nicklin Hames, especially with how she's played defensively. That's something you don't usually think about as much with setters, but that's a part of her game that she's really been trying to develop. Chin tries to go deep, but it's too far. Two nothing Cornhuskers in front. Scoring three straight now, going back to the last set. Seems like with every serve, they're going after Northwestern's first years. That one taps the tape. And sometimes luck is on your side. The third ace for Nebraska so far. Excuse me, the fourth. Bergen Riley doesn't want to give up the ball just yet. Chin tries to roll it back. Alec. Kill number six. You see the big smile there on Becca Alec's face. 
she knows it just looking at that delays her swing and just perfect timing to get the ball down the 6-4 sophomore from Lincoln playing for her hometown school so near side for Hernandez going short overpass Northwestern has an opportunity here to get their first point and Hill does so Kennedy Hill gets Northwestern on the board here in set two. One more look at that one. Stinson now. Libero to Libero. Murray goes short. Stinson pancakes. Shoved over by Hernandez and corralling are the Huskers to keep it back up. And Dodson says no more opportunities at that. Four to two, Cornhuskers still in front. Yeah, you saw a little bit of a collision there in the back row for Choboy. Dodson playing it smart, just putting it right back in that exact spot. Western looking to keep it rolling. Beeson trying to have other ideas. There's Hernandez right at Rodriguez. And Nebraska comes away with a point. And if that goes the way I think it should, that should be Lexi Rodriguez is to 1,200th career dig. Still ranking 10th all time in program history. Would need 55 more to get to ninth, or tie for ninth. But Nebraska picks up an ace on the back of that point. Showing it's a whole team unit. Harper Murray. Another player with a lot of promise. Another first year. Just beyond that line. For the fifth service error the Cornusters have committed tonight. And that's the 50th service error for Harper Murray on the season. She leads the team in service errors. Drew Wright, another first year on to serve. The decoy from Alec was enough to get Batenhorst to get clean look. Baton Horse just has so much power on that left pin. See the replay here. No chance for Ellie Stinson. Rodriguez. Here's Hernandez. Trying Dodson on a slide, wasn't in position. Northwestern regroups. Bump set from Navarrete to Hernandez and a kill. Avery Hernandez's fourth kill of the night on 14 attempts. That's the most for anyone on the floor. She's tied there with Merritt Beeson. But Avery Hernandez really trying to fill in for Julia San Giacomo and Rousseau targeting her early. Hernandez serves over past Dodson with a kill. Just when Northwestern looks to be slipping out of it, they storm back. It's a two-point game. Nebraska so far hitting 500, Northwestern 121, but looking a lot better in the second set. But there's nothing they can do about Andy Jackson right now. No, absolutely not. She's hitting perfectly for 1,000. She just has so much height, just gets up and slams it down. Four kills for Jackson, currently third tonight. Here's Ryland Reed, another try. And a huge kill for Ryland Reed. All smiles on Northwestern side right now. You have to imagine if you're Ryland Reed, it's good to get that first kill under your belt of the night. Hasn't seen too much action throughout the entire season, but looking to fill a bigger role today. Dodson just long for a service error. That's Northwestern's second of the evening. The 
from the service line, Northwestern lacking in the ace department, but also in the airs. Showboy. Bump set from Rousseau, scrambling towards it. Standing still is Reed off the tape and out. Nebraska the first to 10 once again, and Shane Davis wants to regroup. Every thing we've asked them to do, and then some. They won't make the same mistake twice. Yeah, he said that being thrown right on the court in the Big Ten is like drinking from a fire hose there in the back row against some of the toughest servers in the country. So a tall task for those first years. They go right over the shoulder of Wright for the Huskers to come away with another point. Talking about first years on the other side of the net, that was Harper Murray. She finally gets her first kill of the night. She's been looking for it. And a service error, the sixth of the night for Nebraska. That one committed by Choboy. 11-7 the score. This may be one of the few times all season that Northwestern doesn't have a first year on the floor. Here's the senior Rousseau. Wonderful slide again from Andy Jackson. That's her fifth kill continuing to be perfect when she swings. Yeah, Andy Jackson just can't miss tonight, so why not keep targeting her right in between the blockers? That's Reed and Hill just couldn't close in on her fast enough. How about that placement from Bergen Riley as well? Up to 20 assists already. Or serves to Chin. Reed far side into the block, and it's out. One thing that's really gone in Northwestern's favor this season is the crowd aspect, especially the game against Wisconsin, the third straight year setting a new attendance record here at Welsh Ryan Arena. But with the way Nebraska traveled and the way they performed so far, they've done an effective job of silencing the student section. Here's Navarrete, goes long, and another error. The third for Northwestern. And that's a rare service error for Gigi Navarrete. Usually she's pretty consistent behind the line. Now Bergen Riley. Quick ball to Hill, who gets a kill. There's a little bit of extra mustard on that one from Kennedy Hill, and she runs to the bench pretty excited, trying to fire her teammates up. This set is a lot closer than the last one. You can see it on the replay, even in her face. She knew she was scoring on that point, no matter what was going to happen. Riley setting up far side. I save off the swing from Beeson. That dig from Rodriguez. Alec finishes it off. Fourteen nine, Nebraska leads. They won the first set 25-15. Merritt Beeson leads everybody with eight kills. Here's Murray. Rousseau bending her body backwards to set up Chin. Beeson off the tip, diving bump set from Rousseau, and Dotson pops it over. Navarrete off the scoreboard. Hernandez fires it out. Point, Nebraska. That one ends up in Nebraska's favor, but just talking about Alexa Rousseau during that last sequence, just laying her body out on the line every single time. Shane Davis mentioning that he wants her to play a little bit more selfish, but I think he'll, he's pretty happy with that performance. I mean, there's nothing she could have done there to put that over herself, just let alone get it up. And good awareness from Dodson, the one's right in her face, put it over. But an, another error committed by Nebraska gives Northwestern the serve back and a five-point deficit. Here's Drew Wright. There's one assist tonight. Murray receives, sprawling out for it. And it gets over the block. Jackson checks in, 
seems like right now the only flaw Nebraska's presenting is, is the service. Yeah, both serve, receive, and behind the line. Seven <laughs> errors to five aces, though. Rodriguez gets that one cleanly. Hernandez stands still. And a quick kill from Jackson. You can't teach height, and Jackson delivers there. And still hasn't made a mistake. That's six for six for Andy Jackson. The top three leaders in kills for Nebraska would all be team meetings. These two started playing when Nebraska came over from the Big 12. And out of the timeout, Northwestern scores again off another service error, the eighth for the Huskers. Avery Hernandez now set to serve for Northwestern with her team trailing by six. Picks up an ace, the second of the night for Northwestern. And a sigh of relief for Northwestern's bench. They finally saw one fall. Yeah, that's a rare misread there by Lexi Rodriguez. Northwestern down five again. They target Rodriguez. Jackson just firing it back. Gives Reed a shot. Got the touch. But they call the out. On the far side, Cynthia Robinson, our line judge, and signal touch, and Shane Davis turns in the challenge card. Yeah, Ryland Reed was very convinced right away that she got the touch. So. Head coach Shane Davis listening to his players pulling out that challenge card. That's something that John Cook is very successful at using that very timely. But this, we haven't seen a challenge all match. In Northwestern's first point against Maryland last week, the first point of the entire match was challenged. It went Maryland's way. In a set they won, but Northwestern ended up winning in four. We'll have a look at it at the net here. Looking for a finger bending back or a spin on the ball change. Maybe those outside fingers might change a little bit. Northwestern's fans are making up their minds on these calls. But students and other student athletes alike. Figure this would also be used as a time for Northwestern to get a third time out in this set. Yeah, something they'll need. You don't want this one to get two away from you with Nebraska already having 18 points. So much needed for Northwestern. It was a very similar situation in the first set as well. Nebraska held a steady seven, eight, six to eight point lead throughout the entirety of the set, ended up winning it by 10. Shane Davis trying to help his squad avoid the same result. Looks like we've reached a verdict. And it is a touch. The point goes Northwestern, and the point swings the other way. You saw Nick Martinelli there from the Northwestern men's basketball team calling for the touch. And you know what? He was right. Maybe once his basketball career is done, he might have a, a thing in officiating here. So instead of a six point margin, it's down to four. Hernandez serves it away. Rodriguez kept them away with an error and a free ball for Northwestern. Right, Rousseau, Dotson on the slide. Kept up well by Murray. Far side, Batenhorst into the block. Here's the near side, Beeson. And into the net. Eighteen thirteen, Nebraska leading. Trying to go up two sets to none on the road. Beeson, who has ten kills on twenty swings, nearly got an ace. Kept up well enough by Hernandez. Jackson. Finding space, but Drew Wright's there. Rousseau can't gather. 
Six points away for the Huskers. They make that kill number seven for Andy Jackson. Everybody continuing to fire. If there's anybody with a kill for Nebraska right now, their hitting percentage is above zero. And Dodson gets a kill for Northwestern. That's her fourth. Hernandez leading her squad with five. A little personnel change. Northwestern going out there with two setters, but Lauren Carter will be used more on the defensive side. The transfer out of Denver getting her first action tonight. Starts it with an error. She wasn't too happy with that call. No, it was just on the edge. And that's so hard to come right off the bench and just be expected to serve accu accurately right away. And Lauren Carter goes back out of rotation. Baton horse to serve. And the ninth error of the night for Nebraska. Seems that the error is really the only thing that's keeping Northwestern breathing right now. Well, and they often come in pairs. I, I almost think that besides maybe set point for the other team, one of the hardest serving situations is when someone just gave you an air back. Well, three straight service errors. Lauren Carter, Allie Batenhorst, and now Alexa Rousseau. 21-15, Nebraska needs four points to send us to the intermission. And try to improve their record to 18 and 0. Kennedy Orr, another setter. Far side read into the block, but Stinson's there. Here's Katherine Randorf. Her first swing sending it deep, but Beeson's got it. Randorf again. Same spot. Dump from Riley. And nobody saw that coming on Northwestern side. Riley so effective there going over on two. Just read that gap in the Northwestern defense so perfectly. More look at it from Riley just right in the middle. Rousseau trying to slide to get there, but not in time. The Huskers are three points away. Kennedy Hill caught the tape there, but still ended on the plus side. Punched up by Hernandez, but it falls anyway. One thing we've talked about with Shane Davis for the last several weeks now has been owning that first pass. It's the winner of the match is going to be who can have the cleaner first pass. Just hasn't been there for Northwestern so far. Nebraska by eight. Reed saves it. Rousseau denied the joust against Alec. And still kept alive by the Cats. Gathering it is Beeson. But Murray forces it backwards, and Northwestern gets their first point, stopping a 3-0 run. A good rally there between both teams, and it just ends with Nebraska being out of system and not being able to cook something up for the point. Uh, with their backs against the wall, Gigi Navarrete starts to serve. And quick work from Beeson, kill number E11. That one almost seemed personal. Husker Nation rises to their feet once again. This is not in Lincoln. And a reception error gives Nebraska their second straight set, continuing to steam ahead into the intermission. Nebraska's looks so 11 kills on the night, hitting 524. And that's no surprise for Husker fans. She's been doing that all season. And she was someone that John Cook was super excited coming out of the portal. And her teammates as well. You know that you have to be pretty special to be voted team captain when it's your first year in the program. Just making a statement before the season started, making a statement tonight. 
Those numbers aren't an average or anything. That's just what she's been able to do tonight, hitting over 500 and all with a big smile on her face. 25-15 set one, 25-16 set two. Gigi Navarrete Northwestern getting set to serve for what they hope is not their final one tonight. Yeah, Northwestern just needing to calm down a little bit. Have had some attacking errors, some at the line as well, serving. Nebraska, on the other hand, looks calm, cool, and collected. Besides, I mean, we've talked about the serving woes that have kind of been there all season, but overall the players are dancing around right now before this first point of set number three. They've really been in system, just working efficiently offensively all night. Northwestern, of course, working without Julia San Giacomo tonight. Going match to match with a knee injury. And Becca Alec right back to work. That's her eighth kill of the evening. The accuracy. I mean, Becca Alec just touches that back line going cross court. So here's Bergen Riley. Service error. Ten errors for Nebraska so far. Something that they need to eliminate before their next game against Wisconsin. Yeah, even though John Cook didn't want to look forward to Wisconsin, I think it's definitely on everyone's minds, not only in this arena, but in the volleyball world in general. You, you don't you don't want to look past a certain team, but you can't ignore the elephant in the room as Nebraska takes the lead yet again. Harper Murray with the kill that time. And John Cook had the utmost respect for Northwestern's program, especially since they played Minnesota so tough going five sets in their last contest. They just knocked off Purdue for an upset win. So he knows that he had to prepare his squad to not just treat this like someone to get past. Navarrete can't field it cleanly. And Stinson escapes danger, but it's 3-1 Nebraska following the ace. Northwestern and Nebraska not only facing off this week in volleyball, but come Saturday in Lincoln this time, the football teams will square off. Murray clips the tape. Navarrete got enough of it. Hernandez swings for the 19th time, but can't hit the floor. Pancaked by Stinson, kept up by Hernandez and sent over by Navarrete. What work by Northwestern and the block to finish. Kennedy Hill and Randorf get up there. Pull Northwestern back within one. Randorf is someone that we haven't really talked about. She had such a breakout season her freshman year, was on the All Big Ten freshman team, but she's had a much quieter role so far this season. And you have to imagine with Julia San Giacomo out, maybe she'll start to emerge more. Randorf kind of took a step back in the breakout week of Avery Hernandez, and that wasn't by any means against Randorf, Shane Davis said. It was just we couldn't turn off the hot hand of Hernandez, and that was Randorf's spot, but she's finding herself back in. Point, Nebraska on the attacking error. We lead by two once again, but on that last set there where Randorf got the block, both her and Hernandez were out there at the same time. Rodriguez now. Far side, Hernandez having to twist her body. Kept up well by Riley. And the block party is back at Evanston with Leilani Dodson. Dodson's third block of the night. That one coming solo. And we talked about Northwestern needing to settle down a little bit, but you see the huge smile on Dodson's face after that one. She looks pretty confident. Avery Hernandez now. Off the tape, but Murray's there. Beeson unloads. Here's Rylan Reed, and the block was there for Nebraska, leading the way Andy Jackson. Earlier we talked about the events happening in Lincoln this weekend. How can you ignore what happened in Lincoln at the start of this season? You were in attendance, one of the 92,003, I believe? Yes, I was one in 92,003, and it was one of the most incredible days, I think, that I've ever experienced. So I can't imagine how John Cook felt, all of the players. It was truly just a celebration of volleyball in Nebraska. 
which is just so cherished throughout the whole state, all levels. D2, NAIA, high school, and of course, the beloved Nebraska Cornhuskers. And they got the full Nebraska treatment with the tunnel walk, a huge party it looked like afterward, a concert. Looks like an incredible night out in Lincoln, and they continue to stay hot even though we're tied here in set three. Nebraska looking to continue their unbeaten streak this season. And with swings like that from Beeson, they're on their way. 12 kills now. And just talking about how far this program has come, how far volleyball in general has come, as we see the replay here. Nebraska Volleyball Day, I mean, over 92,000 in attendance, a world record being broken. But I remember being a little girl going to the Coliseum and being one of 4,000. So a very big step for the sport of volleyball in Nebraska especially. Attendance improving all over as Rousseau swings. Had a dump attempt early and the favors returned by Bergen Riley. Nebraska scores two in a row. It's not only just what attendance in Nebraska has been like, it's been all over the country. This is the third straight year that Northwestern's broken their own volleyball attendance record. We've seen Wisconsin play at the five serve forum against Marquette. Big games all over the country, and it's a great time to be part of this sport. I might be shamed for mentioning Iowa on a broadcast that involves Nebraska, but I think Nebraska fans will be fine with it here. We have to talk about, of course, the game at Kinnick Stadium, Iowa basketball, playing DePaul in an expedition. And of course, they broke a record of their own there. So women's sports are on fire. That's what Shane Davis said this week when we talked to him about it. Every coach in the Big Ten I've had the pleasure of talking with asked them what it means to be part of this sport right now, and they've all mentioned there's no better moment than right now to do it with, with the growth, increase in coverage. Such a fun sport to be a part of, whether it's coaching, playing, or in our instance, broadcasting. Rousseau back to Hill, dug well by Orr. So it goes far to Randorf, off the block, but Beeson recovers incredibly. And here's Murray, goes deep, got the touch. Nebraska by three. Murray feeling herself there after that kill, her fifth of the night. Quick pause to wipe up. The floor a little bit, make sure nobody slips. And Orr is ready to go again. Nebraska's total hitting percentage decreased to only 470. Just showing how effective they've been throughout the first two sets. Randorf hesitates, but swings. Rousseau gives her another try. And she delivers. Catherine Randorf getting her first kill of the night. Certainly not out of reach for Northwestern, only a two point deficit, but a lot of work to do when looking in the big picture. It starts with Navarrete here. Back row for Beeson. And it's too deep. Just the second error for Merritt Beeson tonight. Nebraska hitting so accurately tonight, especially Merritt Beeson, like you mentioned. So Andy Jackson hitting 875. Becca Alex, 778. Monster numbers. And there's another one from Murray with some thunder. Harper Murray, six kills on 12 total attempts. It almost seems like Harper Murray was feeling a little bit left out there. She's starting to fire up here in set number three. And even though she's not leading the team in kills, she has three aces to her name. Getting it done from all over. Full rotation player. Randorf got the touch. Northwestern will not go down. Nebraska handled the first two sets pretty easily, but Northwestern has been able to play them tough in the past, so they're not going away. We talked about the five-set th thriller last time both of these teams faced off at Welsh Ryan. Service errors have been the name of the game for both teams. 
That one, the 17th combined. The sixth for Northwestern, and now Harper Murray back there, who has four errors herself tonight from the service line. But she gets her fourth ace. For those of you who don't think the announcer's jinx is real, there it is. Timeout, Northwestern. Nebraska continuing to roll on all cylinders. Bria, what have we seen so far? Nebraska has just been so effective offensively. So many different options to choose from for Bergen Riley, Mary Beeson, of course, with 12, but then followed by Becca Alec and Andy Jackson with eight and seven, respectively. It just seems like they haven't really missed, to be honest. They're playing so confidently. Northwestern, on the other hand, only hitting 138. But surprisingly, that's above Nebraska's opponent hitting percentage average for the season, which leads the country. Just shows how much of a juggernaut this Nebraska program is. The number two in the ranking next to the game could easily be a one in any other year. It's just so much power in the Big Ten with Wisconsin as well. And it's going to be a thunderous showdown this weekend between those two. But you got to get this one done first. They're not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, Nebraska went undefeated in non-conference play for the first time since 2016 and just the second time since 20, 2008 and also has had his best start since 2008, which at that season was 20-0. and 0. Another fa fun fact, if you look over on Nebraska's bench, Jordan Larson was playing in 2008, the former All-American and Olympian. Back on the court, Hernandez gets a kill. That's her seventh. Extending her lead over the rest of her squad. And it's a player like Hernandez that you need to be on her A game tonight without San Giacomo. And a swing like that will absolutely do it. Drew right now. Murray frustrated with herself in that reception. The Baton Horse gets a clean look. Dodson. Gets denied, but back on Northwestern side. Hernandez, two in a row. Hernandez really heating up here. Eight kills, hitting 261, leading her team. And suddenly it's a one point contest. Northwestern has scored 31 combined heading into this set this evening. Well, messy play near the pin. Hernandez doesn't know how to approach it in the cleanest fashion. Nebraska back up two, but this is the most competitive set we've seen so far. Nebraska right now just trying to take care of business and escape from this one, but Northwestern not making it easy. Nebraska on the season has only dropped eight sets. Rousseau quick back set to Dodson, but it's an easy enough block for Jackson and Batenhorst there with some assistance. One thing Northwestern can look at, though, is that they have kept Lexi Rodriguez pretty quiet tonight, has five digs and an assist, which is very low considering her standards. But she gets it done with an ace as I say that. I mean, when, you're, when your offense is firing so well, you don't necessarily need her usual performances. We did mention her... In the middle of the pack is all very tightly bunched too. One win in the middle can bring you right near the top. And a loud kill from Leilani Dodson. See the slide there by Dodson right down the line. Hernandez now, a low serve. Murray doing most of the receiving tonight. Beeson looking for her 14th kill. And Hernandez from the back row. Big smiles on Northwestern's side. As Harper Murray a little frustrated with herself knowing she probably could have had that dig. Yeah, and Hernandez gets her ninth kill of the night. She's really kept Northwestern in this set number three, but talking about Alexa Rousseau having to go all the way to the back row for that one. 
Coming right off of that kill. Hernandez gets an ace. And Nebraska finding themselves only up by one, having to call a timeout. And John Cook doesn't look too happy right now. And this is where he really needs his team to settle down, especially because everyone is looking at that one versus two matchup. But it's time for Nebraska to take care of business. That's exactly what he said this week when we talked to him. And they handled the first two sets pretty easily, but they can't let this third one get away from them. Yeah, I said it earlier, Northwestern only scored 15 and 16 in the first two sets. They're at 14 right now. And with play like so far, Hernandez getting a kill and then an ace back to back. Get, trying to get the crowd back into it. A lot of youth programs are here today, as well as a big Nebraska migration. Yeah, you see the Northwestern fans right there, but Nebraska really showed out, especially some Lexi Rodriguez fans. I say, is that Rodriguez on the license plate there? Yep, the land of Lexi. Making a homecoming tonight. The junior out of Sterling. We mentioned earlier the reception she got when she was announced during the starting lineups. You gotta love the creativity from all the Nebraska fans. So many flags that are raised, a lot of fun signs here. Haven't heard the signature roof, roof, roof in a while from Husker fans. The blocking hasn't been too present for Nebraska. Are, are you giving them ideas now? We'll see what this next point holds. Jackson tried to get cheeky, and it falls on her side. We're tied at 15. Three straight for Northwestern. Excuse me, make it four. Following that error from Jackson and Hernandez back at the line. Murray to Riley. To Beeson with a dig from Stinson. Reed's blocked. Point Huskers back in front. And Husker fans disappointed me there. Didn't hear the, the roof 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 cheer, but I do see a sign that says it. First block in a while for Nebraska. Make that number five on the night. Merritt Beeson to serve 13 kills, seven digs, three blocks with one ace. Dodson slides, but the ball is behind her. And a slide on the other end from Jackson. Finds the floor on the wrong side for the Huskers. Tie game once again. Northwestern just not backing down. And for Nebraska, like we've said, handled the first two sets so easily. And maybe this is where the youth starts to come in a little bit. Not a single senior on the Nebraska roster. John Cook is known for his recruiting and so many honors between Everyone on the court right now for Nebraska, but there is not a ton of experience. Back on the floor, Dodson with an error, Northwestern seventh tonight. We, we were talking before the game, Bria, about the lack of seniors on Nebraska's roster, about what that means about team chemistry. Do they have a whole year next year together? Will some enter the portal? Will they get some back? Only time will tell on that one. Here's Murray blocked out, though. Nebraska by two. Murray, one of those freshmen that's made such an impact this year. Especially just coming in so highly touted. Gatorade National Player of the Year. And also same honor for the state of Michigan. And it seems like almost everyone in Nebraska's lineup was Gatorade Player of the Year in their respective states. Hernandez from the back row. Goes towards the middle. Here's Murray into the block. It's out again. And Nebraska rattles off. Couple needed points as they start to break away. Can Northwestern rope them back? 3-0 run for the Huskers. We were tied at 16. Here's Cho Boy. Rousseau far side for Reed. Handled by Nebraska. And an attack error from Murray. The third error tonight from Harper Murray and a needed point for Northwestern, who makes a more offensive-minded substitution. Drew Wright comes off, Catherine Randorf on the front row for Northwestern, Ryland Reed, Kennedy Hill, and Catherine Randorf. 
Rousseau clips the tape. Choboy was there. Murray block out. Kennedy Hill firing up her team in that huddle after the block goes out. A couple back-to-back -back blocks that just haven't been able to find the right side of the floor. Nebraska the first to 20 in all three sets. Northwestern has yet to reach 20 points in a set tonight. Rousseau, near side, Reed. Kill number four for Rylan Reed. Rylan Reed, someone that Shane Davis pointed out as being one of the hungriest players in practice, and she shows it off with that swing there. We could not have praised her more in our conversation earlier this week, saying she has more than rightfully earned her spot in this lineup. For Harper Murray showing why she is one of the top recruits and one of the top players in the Big Ten right now, continuing to stack it up. That's kill number 10. And right now, nothing is stopping Harper Murray from getting the ball. She runs for it a little bit and calls off her teammate off the serve receive and just gets it right back for the kill. And the confidence and command she has, especially when receiving serves, it's unlike really any other freshman I've seen. Northwestern gets a point after a block goes out. And it's not over yet. But yeah, just talking about Murray a little bit more, she's really gotten a, a lot cleaner as the match has gone on. A couple serve receive airs in the set number one. Stinson, low serve. Murray had trouble receiving, but it's kept up well. What a play by Riley. And Dodson just misses on her quick swing. Nebraska just a few points away. The last time these two teams played in this arena was a thrilling five-setter, which really could have gone anybody's way near the end. Murray wasn't there when that happened. Hernandez got a nice swing, but an even better dig from Rodriguez. Good rally, but Hernandez gets the point for Northwestern. It's a little bit of an energy boost there for Northwestern. Keeps it at a two-point game. First time they've reached 20 tonight. Two-point contest with Northwestern's backs against the wall. Here's Wright. Looking far side, the block delivers for Northwestern, denying Beeson. Avery Hernandez getting up there. Avery Hernandez has really filled in this game especially. 11 kills, and that one's a big one. Puts it within one. 22-21, right serves with the chance to tie. Beeson goes to right. Rousseau sets it over. Batenhorst. Here's Hernandez off the block. Alec off the touch. Nebraska was in danger there, Bria. Yeah, just a little bit. Lucky that they got Northwestern to bite on that last kill. 23-21. Cornhuskers lead it with their libero serving. Really short serve. Out of system play for Northwestern. How do they respond? Kept up, right. Stinson, Navarrete teaming up in the back row. But Batenhorst says no more tries at that and brings us to match point. Batenhorst goes cross court with so much power. Just so much authority on that swing. We mentioned her battle with Lindsey Krause throughout the season, trying to see who would get that number one spot. And with Krause out, Batenhorst filling right in. Rodriguez serves to right. Hernandez, too far in Nebraska. Survives it for the time being as we may have a challenge from Shane Davis. 
We do. And you know, why not? I mean, you can't take those with you to the locker room. So Shane Davis trying to keep his team alive here. Nebraska fans were ready to get on the road after that one. Still fans are, seems like they've made up their mind with what the call was. But we do need to see another look at his Northwestern's basketball team. You see Boo Booey, Ty Berry, Brooks Barnheiser, the rest of the lineup. They all see a touch. Nick Martinelli was right on the last challenge. So we'll see if this one holds up. Here's the look. Priya, walk us through it. Just trying to see if they get the touch off the block there. Looks like the spin on the ball might change. But remember, the call on the floor was out. It has to be enough to overturn that call. It's a tough look, too, because it's on the far side of the court, not a great angle at it. But official's going to take some time to look at this. And if this point does go Northwestern's way, they're right back in it in this third set. It would be 24-22 instead of the end of the match. So this really does decide it all. Officials tonight, James Cuziella, Alston Cleary, Scott Prox, and Sinke Robinson. We reached a verdict. Just awaiting a signal. And it was out. Nebraska wins it in three straight sets. 25-15, 25-16, improving to 9-0 in conference play. Yeah, John Cook has to be pretty excited about this team's performance, especially in the first two sets, almost let the last one get away from them. He said that coming into this game, the challenge for his team was to play the most...